What's going on guys, Dujo here, coming at you guys with a brand new video. In this video today, we're gonna to be working on German 2J's fully built N54, and we're gonna be doing the 15 inch brake conversion on his car. Okay, so first we're gonna start off by taking everything off, the old rotor, the old caliper, bracket, everything. What you're gonna to wanna to do is if you're doing the uh, conversion with the E39 rotors and the 320 calipers, you're gonna to need to shave a bit off the calipers and you're gonna to need to cut the shield. So I put the rotor on, I outlined the line where the rotor, um, sit, like where the shield sits flush. I'm gonna cut that there and then also over here. Since the bracket's gonna need to be spaced out with washers forward, um, it's gonna hit this. So you're gonna need to cut this shield. This is a, a little bit of a tricky part. You're gonna need to cut it from here dark. down to the where the wheel bearing is. So from there and there, this portion over here, you see, you're gonna have to cut that out entirely. Um, other than that, I'll show you where you need to shave the caliper. Mainly what you need to do is right here. If you guys have welds or um, different, there's another type, welds or another type of rim, you don't even need to shave your calipers. So oh, check really? Oh, fit? Rims. Yeah, check what rims, did I know the jags, you mm -hmm. need to shave the calipers. So. Um, we're gonna shave down this area mostly. These are also Irwin's wheels, I didn't even show you guys yet. So cut this section completely out. What you're gonna to wanna to do is, if you're doing this with the 328 calipers, you're gonna to wanna to be put, uh, putting three medium-sized washers. I don't know how big these are. We just put three washers. To space it? Yeah. And then a longer bolt. It spaces it out so <laughs> it sits correctly. So as you see, like this side's already all done. Everyone finished this one up. Still gotta put the caliper back on it, but basically doing the same exact thing on this side. We are doing the same exact thing on this side. We just got the rotor back on. You see the cut. Now we're just gonna get the caliper on, make sure everything fits. Pull it. Pull it. Everyone got the washers in. Test fit number one. How does it look? Is it touching? Yeah. So just shave a little bit more off the caliper. Yeah. The paper doesn't fit. Yeah, the back side. Can you see? The front, right? No, right here. Back Tell me. Side. Let me feel it. Let me feel it. So no. Big meaties! Attempt number two, they're good! How is it? Oh, Clear? Buddy, you know what I'm gonna call these things? The schlickies. Schlickies, the big meaties. Yo, look here, bro. Come look here. Yeah, Holy. Is it tight or it clears it? Oh, no, it's clear, but it's almost touching. Wait. She clears. If you're changing your. Uh, Calipers, it's always important to bleed the brakes and uh, make sure the level is correct. Pull it to the top. So right now that's what we're doing. We're filling it up. We're letting, as we did earlier, we, we let the lines drip a little, seep. So we changed the oil inside the line and now we're going to bleed them. So as you guys know, um, with these wheels, since they're not uh, upcentric, you might need a ring spacer if you're getting vibrations. Or you might also uh, want to consider going studs with 
nuts, conical nuts, because the bolt pattern isn't the same. This is a 5x4.75, and our bolt pattern for E92 335 or any E90 is a 5x120. So it's a little bit different, but you can fit it. The 5x4.75 is a little bigger, but um, you can make it work if you tighten them in the start pattern. Here we go. A moment of truth. Oh, 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 cream. Yo, that looks fat. No rub, nothing. What are you thinking? Could have went in with a 60? No, I don't. <laughs> Alright, take two. With the wheel cap. Neat. Alright. So everyone says it's pulling, so. It's pulling, guys. Second group. 